Hey everyone, welcome back to another software developer profile review. My name is David. I am a software developer with over 20 years of experience. It's a long time. And uh, I've also run international recruitment teams, so I've seen both sides of the fence. I've done the development side, made all those mistakes, and then I've been the recruiter and watched everyone else make the same mistakes. So in this series, I'm trying to show you the mistakes that developers make when they present their profiles. Some profiles are better than others. Some, some of them I just have to applaud and say, great profile. Uh, but that should be valuable information in itself. If not, I'm going to try and highlight uh, things that are wrong. I will tell you what a recruiter sees. And a recruiter is someone who looks at your profile, usually in the first instance, with um, a lot of time constraints. They look uh, at it for a few seconds and make a snap decision. You probably don't like to hear that, but that's the truth. Um, so I'm going to show you what actually happens. So today we're looking at Suleiman, uh, Suleiman's profile and um, Suleiman described himself as a senior iOS developer and mobile app developer. So without further ado, let's get on with the review. If you would like a review, please visit my website, crushing.digital. Uh, look at this, lots of nice things that people said about me books and courses and all that sort of stuff, you want to click this profile review button, fill in the form, and I will get to you as soon as possible. You also want to buy a book, you want to buy lots of video courses, you want to buy lots of things and say nice things about me. Or just turn up to a free careers Q&A session on a Friday. I don't mind either way, but uh, I hope to see that. Anyway, let's get back to the review. Uh, so let's start with the banner image. Brilliant. Love it. It's perfect. Tells me exactly what you do. It's very clear. Uh, mobile application developer is the uh, headline. I'd, I'd like it if it said Swift. Um, maybe you've got some Objective-C, I don't know. Um, if you're a senior, maybe doing this a long time. Um, good profile picture. So it's all looking good so far. I'm going to open that link because I want to know where that goes. In here, we've got a portfolio. We've already opened that one. I'm going to skip Upwork for now. Um, here, thank you to Mohammed for reviewing my iOS development service. Let's open that. That doesn't go anywhere. Is that me? Let's let's open that again. Nope, that doesn't go anywhere. So that's problem number one. Can't get there. This might be my connection. I doubt it is though, but um let's try a third time. We all no, it doesn't go anywhere. So uh, that needs fixing. Activity, what are you talking about all day, every day? We'll get to that momentarily. And then the About section. I'm a Pakistani-based software engineer focused on building user-friendly mobile applications. Great. I am passionate about building excellent software that improves the lives of those around me. This is one of, of those um, About Me introductions that's very light, very high-level. As a recruiter, I, I say this for effect, but recruiters are thinking, I don't care. Show me the uh, detail. So I'm an organized, collaborative, highly skilled iOS developer with five years of professional experience. So I would rather we just said, I am a, I'm a highly skilled iOS developer with five years of experience who also happens to be the other things. Uh, hit me with the value first. Going down here, whole bunch of links. It's not exactly the nicest way to present them. Um, but we can come back to that later. Um, I'm hoping there's, there's things that are going to drive me to these things. So let's get down to the experience. So um, I want to know, when did you start using uh, iOS? So you've been using iOS since 2020. I oh, know since 2018. So since 2018, okay. Uh, so we've got Swift, iOS, Cocoa, Touch, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, loving it. But what did you build here? What did you? So I can see you're using it, using Swift and iOS you know, all the time. That's great. But I've got no examples of what did you build, what did you learn, what were the challenges, how did you overcome them? There's no context to this. So this is the classic senior developer trick of I'm just going to rely on the years of experience and hope that you don't ask what I've been doing. I, I need to know in how much experience you've got, but if I like that, then I want to know, okay, in that time, how have you been applying your knowledge? You know, I, I need to, to know what sort of scale of applications have you been working on, what sort of size teams have you been working in, um, and 
what are you learning? How are you continually growing? All those sorts of things. So classic mistake of the senior is to be lazy. And this is where phrases like the best developers rarely get the job. It's the ones that present themselves the best that do. You might be thinking, well, I'm guaranteed to get a call because look at how much experience I've got. But if you're applying for jobs where they need at least five years of experience, you're going to have the same as everybody else, but they're going to sell it even more so and have more evidence to prove it, in which case your profile looks lacklustre by comparison. This is where the mantra that I teach, doesn't matter whether you're brand new, junior, mid-level or senior, the problem is always the same. The best developers rarely get the job, it's the ones that present themselves the best that do. So, activity, what are you talking about all day? This doesn't help, this doesn't help. Affluent so it doesn't help, doesn't help. So I don't know what you're doing here. There's, there's not a lot of um, evidence here to back this up. So now we've got to go to this, uh, the, the other supporting evidence pieces. So I get to this site. So this is, uh, oh, this is great. This is a classic. This is what I see whenever I open up someone's portfolio. Um, I arrive, what do you do? How, how long does it take me to find out what you do? It's not here. I'm scanning through quickly. Can I see where it is? No, I'm going to have to read all this. I don't want to read all this. Uh, a seasoned software engineer with a proven track record. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Uh, including this, this, and this. With five years of experience. Doing what? So here's, here's the value at the end. Um, we need to be thinking about the order of it and making it pop, making it easier for me to find out. Uh, so there's a resume, there's a portfolio. So you should be talking about all of these projects, how you built them, what technical decisions you made, what challenges you faced and overcame. There's a ton of value here, but you're hoping that I find it. And if I hadn't have taken the time, and let's face it, I might not have bothered after um, the LinkedIn, other than the fact that you've got the experience, but I'm not gonna dig into all these. You should be making it a lot easier for me to find all this stuff. What are you blogging about? So best fonts, best design, design stuff. And you know, this needs to be linked up in your LinkedIn as well. I need to be seeing this. I need to be seeing your proactivity. You're clearly doing the work. You're just not making it clear in the places where their recruiters live, which is on your LinkedIn profile. If I go to the other one, what was this? Was this a company that you run? I don't know what this is. Um, it looks like a company who we are. So it's a company of some variety. Great, what do you do? Um, transforming businesses with smart tech savvy solutions. Great, but it doesn't tell me doing what. So you do Angular, React, jQuery and Bootstrap. And SAS, WordPress. Node, PHP, Laravel, I think, React Native, MongoDB, MySQL, Code Ignite, a view. It's not helping me in the iOS front. Um, so I close that. Again, I, I think this is another one of those classically strong profiles, but we're relying way too heavily on I've got lots of experience and you don't need to know what I've been doing there. And that makes people nervous you're going to get overlooked because you're going to be applying for senior level roles and somebody else is going to make it more clear, in which case you're going to be the backup. Um, you know, I'll come to you if if everybody else fails and that's not the position you want to be in. You, you've clearly got enough experience here to be able to showcase fabulous amounts of experience and um, overcoming technical challenges and, and all that sort of stuff. All these tools like unit testing, everything you're using here, it should all be unpacked and presented in a much clearer way. This, uh, I feel harsh reviewing the profile, but I almost want every senior developer to see this because this is classic of what I see. It's just, I've got experience, therefore I don't need to try. It's like, if, if you want, and, and this is where developers will say to me, oh, I don't need to bother, I get contacted by recruiters all the time. I should hope you do. If you're not being contacted by recruiters and you've got years and years of experience, then you're probably dead. Uh, re a recruiter works by asking everyone in their network who's alive, who's interested, who's who's available, and then filtering from what comes back. So you should be being contacted by recruiters all the time. Don't look at the vanity metric of how often a recruiter contacts you. 
uh, look at the metric of how often you're invited to an interview. And at the minute, you with this profile, I think you've probably been my backup rather than my first port of call, just because I'd like to know what's going on more here. Hope that makes sense. Um, if you've got any questions, give me a shout. Uh, thank you very much for submitting your profile review. If anybody else would like a profile review, please head over to Cushion.digital and click the button and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.